Counseling Techniques, Exploring Client Readiness, with Gina Ko and Sandra Collins. Clients often move through several stages before they are ready to set therapeutic directions and envision change. It's important for the counselor to meet the client where they are at in this process. This technique involves reinforcing client motivation, initiative, and supports for change, as well as attending to between session change in order to foster expectancy for change and foreground client agency. Hi, Gina. Hi, Sandra. We've been talking for a while about the issue of balance in your life. And my sense is that now you have a pretty clear sense of what the challenge has been and how a lack of balance impacts your health and well being. And you also have a pretty clear sense of how you would like it to be different by maybe rearranging things in your life so that they feel more balanced, particular domains of your life, um, and also bringing forward the good enough Gina in all of those places. Would you agree that that's kind of where you're at at this point? Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. So the other thing I'm aware of is that we've come up with a number of really strong examples of how you're already being the good enough Gina in various domains of your life. Um, and in particular, shifting energy towards being present with your family and doing different things with your family, you know, going golfing, doing some of these things, right? So one of the things I'm wondering about is what will happen for you when the imbalance starts to rise again? And that could happen because some new demand comes or, um, you know, we just have to keep, it's an active thing, right? So it could tip back the other way. Yeah. I've been thinking about this, Sandra. I think what would tell me that the imbalance is starting to enter my life again is fatigue. Is if I feel more fatigued. So during the winter months, it's hard, right? Darker outside, but it's, this is Calgary, right? I don't get to go golfing. Um, you know, uh, winter, the winter months seem to be also busier with clients, which I absolutely love. And I could be more stretched, right? So I think, yeah, if I feel that I'm more needing more longer naps, because I nap every day, or when I nap and I don't feel as invigorated, or on the weekends, if I feel like I don't want to do anything, I just want to stay in bed, that would tell me that I'm off balance again. Mm. These things would tell me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a really important red flag because it's something that's really obvious to you that you can attend to as kind of a gauge. Your, am I feeling high energy in all of these areas of my life or am I tipping towards feeling fatigued and lacking energy in these areas of my life? Mm -hmm. So I, I now that we're talking about this, I, I this past weekend I said yes to my my spouse and my daughter. They went they're heading to the gym and I said I'll go with them. You know, and I was I, I did have to say into myself, like I miss a yes, because if I even contemplate, I'm gonna to not go, right? Um, but when I'm fatigued though, when I'm like, oh, I just want to stay in bed and watch a show or something, I would say no. But this again, this past week has been pretty good, pretty balanced. So we did a almost a two hour workout, the three of us, right? And that is starting to enter my life again, the working out in the gym. And I do enjoy it. I, I, I need to say yes more. And if I'm fatigued, then I would not be able to say yes. Hmm. And what's interesting about that is that um, that example is showing you the kinds of things that you will gain by being in that balanced place, right? Like I see your enthusiasm and I see your um, sense of agency around being able to say yes and not have the fatigue be a barrier to doing something that you know will bring you that kind of joy and family time. Uh, yeah, that's right. And the family time is a is um is always number one, right? So I said yes because not only do I get to work out, I get to spend time with my family. And again, my son was in 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 uh, Montreal at the time, so he couldn't join us. But um, it was really eye opening uh, for me to observe my my whole self in in the gym. 
like I, I know this and I love it and I need to do I need to go more so it was a good reminder to you of yeah what it's like to be in that positive balanced space mm -hmm. very good reminder so one of the things I'm wondering about then is um, now we're headed into summer so it's kind of a bit easier to embrace these opportunities and um, bring kind of reinforce that balance and so I'm wondering um, I'm wondering as a sort of prep for the winter months mm -hmm. how you might further reinforce that sense of balance and energy giving activities uh, before you hit the winter months so that it becomes a pattern in your life mm, I love this one Sandra I think we need to kind of co-create maybe even just one goal and right now I'm thinking at least I'll, we'll start small once a week I'm going to say yes because they go a lot right once a week I'm going to say yes I'm coming right and hopefully with once a week from now when it gets to the winter months then I'm already used to going so it's about creating a pattern mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes yes a habit and a pattern yeah habit yeah a habit and a pattern yeah, because if you do that now, when you have the extra energy, maybe because it's summer, then by the time you get to the winter, it's not, you're not even asking yourself that question that, that you mentioned a few minutes ago. If I hesitate any longer, I'm going to say no, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but developing the habit will kind of take maybe that hesitation away. Yes, yes. And also knowing, as you said earlier, Sam, knowing it, while, while I'm working out and afterwards, I feel good, right? Mm -hmm. to, to remind myself, this is good for me. I feel good and I'm stronger. Um, I will, yeah, I, I'll even play sports. I'll even golf better, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that will come into the work that you do in other areas of your life. Like as you're having that more um, strong, refreshed, energetic um, way of being in your body you're more likely to think clearly and be more calm and grounded and you know we, you mentioned earlier your shoulders um, hurting from sitting for long periods of time which also this piece of your life kind of may address yeah and Sandra you know what last night I was leaning on my left side my shoulder doesn't hurt anymore because <laughs> I've been moving and and going to the gym going to play golf and yeah yeah interesting eh so there's an immediate reinforcer for the positive reinforcer for the things that you've been doing mm -hmm. so how how might you prevent forgetting the positives because that's something that can sometimes happen, especially as we move into winter months, right? We kind of talk ourselves out of the, out of doing things and um, forget the positives that come from this. Well, I'm going to borrow from my own practice where I would bring forth an idea where it's a mantra. Maybe I would suggest some of uh, a mantra you know with my clients and we we co-create it together and we can I can put it on my phone as a screensaver or sticky right by my mirror when I wake up some yeah yeah mantra yeah so what would that mantra look like <laughs> first thought is say yes <laughs> say yes to working out or yeah maybe that one maybe that one it's very specific and it, it really helps yeah. yeah and maybe it maybe it can be that simple for now right that this is the because you said you wanted one goal yeah so then the mantra matches that one goal and you can always revisit that as that becomes a habit and you feel confident with that maybe you'll decide okay it's time to revise the the mantra and choose something different that I need to reinforce Mm -hmm. and even the two words say the two words say yes could also be kept and then it could be another for example say yes to uh working during the day or say yes to cooking more right 
Yeah, absolutely. I like that because it almost becomes like a um, how sometimes we have these prompts that, yeah. and you say you you have the initial part of the prompt and then the various things that you want to do related to that, but tackling them all at once would be overwhelming. And so it's just good to start with this one piece. Mm -hmm. I love it. And it's very much doable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's leave it there for today then. Sounds good.